What's up my dudes, my name is Susu Tolly, and in this video I'm just going to be talking about the water on Mars, so uh, what better way to do it than to be riding on my Mars motocross track on MX Simulator, so anyways, that's what you guys are seeing here in the background, it's just a custom track that I made, so uh, yeah, it's the water on Mars, oh they're finally... They're finally getting a little bit of evidence that there's something more out there than just some rocks and pebbles and whatnot. And <laughs> I mean, I'm just waiting on them to actually get to a whole nother solar system or something and figure out that, yeah, there's tons of life out there. Uh, for me, I'm one of those people that I just have a hard time believing that we're the only things living that are here on this planet that just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but that's just me don't i'm not some kind of crazy space nut or anything that just is like oh my god aliens they're coming right now i'm not i don't really think like that but i'm thinking like there's got to be something out there anyways i'm not saying those green aliens that you see on tvs out there i'm just saying uh it, it would make sense that you know earth is kind of one planet in our solar system and uh it's one of those planets that has life on it uh, so you think about how many other solar systems and everything and you just think even if it was like our solar system there would at least have to be one planet on each solar system with quite a bit of life if you just kind of take that into uh, logic consideration uh, then it would make sense that there would have to be at least life on a somewhat like one planet of every solar system something like that uh, if it's kind of making sense or something along those lines so uh but i just i feel like there's got to be something else living out there on a different planet it, they can't be that uh non-livable i know there's a better word for it but uh they can't be that much like that every planet there's just uh and i feel like there's things out there that don't have to breathe air or don't have to have all these earth-like things to live if that makes sense so like you could have a planet that had just super small microscopic what we might consider more like a, a bacteria or something like that but hey it's living so that's something living on another planet we just haven't found something like really big living yet so uh but yeah the whole deal with the water on mars this this talk might turn into more than just water on mars it might turn into uh actual space talk and whatnot but either way uh let me play this back in some third person so uh yeah i think it's really cool I've, I've always thought space and all that was really cool just to think about different stuff that could be out there so uh it's pretty interesting to think i, I didn't try to research too much on the water on the mars thing i i didn't want to dive too deep into it i didn't want to read for like five days just to figure out what was going on so i don't really know if they actually found water on it or they just thought they just could kind of conclude that water has flown on it one point at one point in time or something i'm not really sure uh some of you guys that probably have read more into it would know that for sure but uh e either way it's kind of one of those things that i mean yeah what'd you expect you know it's uh I, f I feel like that could be on any planet or anything it could have that kind of stuff everybody just thinks every planet is just barren and like the moon or something like rocks and stuff and whatnot but even the moon i mean i still feel like something could live like underground on the moon or something to where we can't see them or something like crazy like that so i know for some of you guys me talking like this just probably blows your mind but uh it's just you know open your mind a little bit every once in a while think about what's out there and stuff i'm not some kind of uh, just space like I said before I'm not some kind of space nut that like thinks I'm getting abducted all the time or something crazy like that it's just I think it's cool to I mean these things that are in our life and are in this universe so it's cool to think about even if none of it is possible or if even if none of it is real uh, other things on other planets it's still kind of cool to think about and think about the possibilities so um, it would be cool one day if uh, we could get some you know motocross tracks on other planets that would be insane we'd have to wear spacesuits though so uh, that would actually look kind of cool on a dirt bike could you imagine that bit spacesuit on a dirt bike on a different planet uh track built on a different planet that would be insane uh we would have to figure out some gravity issues though because uh we would just be floating in the air for days so uh either way uh, i just think it's a really cool thing and just space in general is quite intriguing just simply because 
th- that you know we think about the world we live in but just look around at nighttime all those places are real this isn't just this isn't a game <laughs> this is a game i'm playing right now but i'm just saying this this universe this place we're in is not just earth you know what I mean? There's more to that. So you, sometimes you got to really open your mind a little bit before you can even see what's past what's past the clouds. You know, it's uh, and a lot of times it's hard to really see that. So it's I don't know. But I mean, just the fact that we don't that there's things so far out that we can't even see. And people are saying, oh, there's nothing on other planets. There's nothing. Oh, give me a break, man. There's no way, you know. And there's no way that somebody that you can't even see that far out knows. It's pretty crazy that, that when you get to thinking about it, that the universe potentially could be never-ending or is never-ending. Not really sure because we don't really know if the, the edge of the universe, we don't know. I mean, you know what I'm saying though? You know what I'm saying, boys? Like when you sit there and think about it, like holy crap, what we're living in a never-ending space, uh, which is crazy. And just to think that, I mean, all these places, and it's not like this is some kind of fiction kind of thing that we just think is like this, or we just think it's never-ending, or we just think there's these things out here, and there's these crazy nuts that that have kind of, uh, you know, thought about all this fiction. You can see it. <laughs> you can see the stars that are light years away it's not like it's not like it doesn't exist just walk outside at night man it's there i'm telling you like i'm not saying like i said before i'm not saying you know the green aliens real and this that and another i'm just saying that universe is never ending or it's dang close to it so just and it's a fact because you see it (laughs) it's it's not like we're guesstimating on all this stuff or thinking this might exist or that there all these stars there might be another solar system it's not like that we know this for a fact so uh but i in i mean i don't know it's hard to think about because i know religion can get into it and all that stuff i'm not trying to like start a debate here but i just think it's cool to think about things that could be out there and stuff and there you can't deny it i mean just look out in the sky at night <laughs> i mean it's just that simple you know but um i think it's it's really cool to have just have space nebula cool looking stuff it's kind of like it's kind of like the wonders of the world or the wonders of the universe you know like uh northern lights something really pretty cool to look at things like that and you just think about all the different things the different stuff that's on earth like water and this and that and everything else but you think about some pla- other planet that's not just some kind of barren rock or super hot surface or whatever, it could have all these special different things, kind of like Earth has, but in a whole different way if you think about it. So uh, it's it's pretty crazy. I'm really surprised that we haven't actually discovered more than we have or somebody's keeping it a real big secret. Uh, either way, I, I feel like we would have discovered like we would already have been to the planets far away, super far away, stuff like that. I would kind of already be thinking that. Um, and I would kind of be thinking that we would already have buildings up on the moon or something like that, figure out a way uh, to easily get to the moon and it not be such a far kind of thing. Uh, it's, I don't know. And then you get all those alien abduction stories. And I mean, somebody can just take a drug and have that and it feels real. So, I mean, you can't always rely on that, but I don't know, man, there's been things where people have seen things in the sky, you know, the three dots or whatever. And, uh, it's that those can be misleading as well. So it's, uh, but for me, it's not about like figuring out if it's a fact or, or whatever oh aliens are real or not real it's not about that it's just a cool fact of thinking about all this you know it's uh this is what's in our universe this is it's there it's not a mystery i mean it is a mystery but it's not like a myth if that makes sense this not all of these other planets are not just some kind of thing that is not real or whatever we know it's real it's there so then there are different universes and there are stars that are just light years away so we know all this is real so it's really cool because then it really makes you think about well there's got to be something else out there man so anyways i don't want to ramble on too much i don't want to start anything either i'm not not that kind of guy i'm just uh 
trying to talk about some space stuff because I think it's really cool. So, uh, but anyways, so yeah, uh, it's kind of fun to open your mind up a little bit and think about some crazy stuff like that. And uh, I think it'd be really cool in the in the future if they make some. Uh, definitely some planets with some motocross tracks on it you know what i'm saying boys so uh that would be a lot of fun but other than that i mean it would just be fun it's going to be fun to see in the future what all they discover and stuff like that so anyways i appreciate all you guys watching these videos and i'll keep on making them thanks guys